Spider-Man. Yeah, but that's for a girl. See? She has a little dress on. It's yeah. Cute. Yeah. So it's a spider woman. Nice. What are you looking at? I want to Well, Connor, you know, you've already gotten uh, the police officer and Spider-Man. So I think you have enough costumes for one night. Yes. I want that one. It's Rick. Is that Rick? I want this this guy. His name is um, Daryl. Yeah, Daryl. What is this guy? Uh, I don't know the guy's name. Ooh, let's turn it over. Let's see. Whoa! Walking Dead! Is that cool? Yeah, I'm a watchhead. Yeah. Alright, let's go look at the Christmas stuff. Alrighty, so here we are where all of the canning stuff is. And so the recipe that I have. What are we, Mommy? We're getting stuff to make canning. Um, some habanero jelly. So the recipe calls for eight half pint canning jars with lids and rings. And so, let's see. Oh, there they are. Because a pint is 16 ounces, so this is half. So these are perfect. So that comes with what, 12? Awesome. Yay! Ah, oh, and these are always a good size because you can use these for lots of different jams. So we have the jars. I have a little, whatever that is, Scooby thing. And I also have the jar lifter, which last time I did this, I didn't buy this and I really should have. So I'm glad I have that. So this is all very basic stuff. What I also need, so I have my list going. So I have canning stuff. And then I need the liquid pectin. Let's see, liquid pectin. Oh, here we go, right, right here. Womp, 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 womp. What is this? Premium liquid. So this one comes with how many packets? Two, three ounce packets. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's what the recipe I calls for. Home. Okay. So two. I, I, home. I know, buddy. Hold on. Yeah. So two, three ounce pouches of liquid pectin. That's that. There we go. Okay. So what else do we need, Connor? What else do we need? Go home. To go home? Uh-huh. Go home. Alrighty. I don't need to go home. You heard him. Show me how you're gonna drink it. Look how cute this guy is. This guy. Isn't he Maybe cute? The and then we also have some uh, owl ones. He's a cute little owl, huh? Oh no. Yeah. That's cool, huh? Alright, so these are the things that I purchased today for canning. Um, again, I've canned before, but I don't have anything currently to can with, so I had to buy quite a bit of stuff. The first thing I got was the jars themselves. So I got 12 8 ounce um, jars to can with, and so they all come with the, the ring and then also the, um, the metal lid. And I also got some extra because you just never know um, as you're canning if something, if these don't like seal properly or whatnot, you always want to have extra. So I got these, and then I also got the funnel, and I got the jar lifter, and I got, well, got the liquid pectin, which is important to have, especially if you're making what I'm making today, which is um, some jelly. And then also something I got last minute were some gloves, because I, um, I kind of have a sensitivity to spices, and what I'm making today is habanero um, jelly. And so I can't, if I touch this with my bare hands, it'll burn me. What, buddy? Okay, build it. Um, so anyway, so the recipe that I have calls for 15 of these. And so um, I absolutely need to put on the gloves in order to kind of peel these and chop them all up. Because, yeah, I cannot touch these with my hands. And um, so it's 15 of the habanero peppers. And it also come, calls for, a, I believe, a cup and a half of the apple cider vinegar. And then I believe a full red bell pepper. And then carrots. And so that's going to make eight of them. The second thing I'm going to make is some strawberry jam. And so this is pretty easy. I just need the strawberry. What's up? I'm a cafe. 
Well, I'm going to make these for the jam, buddy. No. How about I give you one? Yeah, this be this one. Hold on, say one. please. Please. Please, can I have just one? Please, one more hot slime one. Okay, one. Anyway, so I'm going to get this all prepped and chopped up, and then I will show you guys uh, what it's like uh, halfway through the process. All right, so here are all the ingredients all lined out. Um, I've got my water in my pot going. Oops, it's not getting uh, steam on the lens. And then here's my pot that I'm going to uh, make the jelly in. And then I have everything over here already sterilized and ready to go. And so over here, I have it's one and a half cups of cider vinegar. Um, I can only find apple cider vinegar, so I'm hoping it's the same thing. Um, this is kind of the, the bad boy right here, the 15 habanero peppers that are chopped finely. Um, I need to use gloves because I could not get this on my skin. I'm sure a lot of people could uh, relate to that because I, uh, if I get this on my skin or anywhere near my skin or if I breathe in the fumes from it, I'm, apparently I'm really sensitive to it, so it just really it gets me. Over here... It's half a cup of diced red bell pepper and then one cup of shredded carrots. So I just took like a cheese grater and just shredded it down. And then this recipe calls for two packets of the liquid pectin and then six and a half cups of the uh, white sugar. So I know that seems like a lot. The first time I saw it, I thought it was crazy too, but we'll, uh, we'll see how it uh, all cooks down. So I've got my iPad right here with the recipe. And I'm going to get going with this. Alrighty. This is supposed to be to a fourth inch from the top. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, meh. I'll probably top them off here in just a second. Ooh, tight, 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 tight. Ooh. Ooh, tight. Alrighty. Alrighty. There is the habanero jelly out of the water bath and cooling. And now I am working on my strawberry jam. So this consists of two pounds. Oh, heard my little, uh, one of the lids popping over here. It means they're cooling down nicely. So two pounds of strawberries. I'm supposed to mash these down apparently. And then we have four cups of sugar. And then one fourth cup of lemon juice. So I'm gonna get this all cooking. And I got my water boiling again and my pot ready to go and recipe up here on my iPad and here we go. Alrighty, so here we go. So I've turned out. Get the rest in there. Ouch. All right, so you're supposed to fill it to about half an inch to a fourth of an inch from the top. So just trying to get that all pretty accurate. Probably have a little bit more, but already seems like it turned out pretty well. I'm gonna finish doing this and uh, line them all up when they're done. Alrighty, there's the habanero and the strawberry jam. So these all have popped already, so now I'm just waiting for these. They just came out, so they'll probably be a little while longer before they pop. And here's a um, here's some jam that wasn't all the way up to the top so we're gonna eat this tonight so I didn't uh, give this a bath so the rest of these should go on the shelf for us to enjoy for the future